I'm Dr. Bill Pogue. I am the oldest living practitioner of an art known as CUDA, K-E-T-A. It was taught to me by Leroy Crawl in 1969 and 1970. Uh, CUDA is reportedly has Egyptian origins and works off what we call the startle reflex or the uh, natural reflexes of the body. Um, it is not a traditional martial art. There is some question as its origin and I'll let you decide on your own. Uh, the principle of CUDA is that the, everybody has the same speed of natural reflexes, so we try and work off what the body has naturally. We know that if you're attacked mid-chest or higher, that your natural reflex as the head goes back, pelvis comes forward and the hands will come up. If you're attacked lower than the chest, it'll be reversed. The buttocks will go back, the neck opens and the hands will drop. So we're going to work on those natural reflexes to uh, develop a striking technique that is reflexive rather than a learned reaction. Um, the basic position of the hand, there are two really moves and that's it. One is closing the hand, the other is opening the hand and all kinds of variations on that. The basic punch is called a cuda punch and it uses a relaxed fist. And you say, well that's not strong. It is strong and we can prove it to you using scientific instruments. But instead of punching with the first two knuckles like karate, uh, we're going to punch across and use the whole hand so it conforms to the body and the thumb is on the outside as if you're holding a small little bug or something in your hand. It's a relaxed fist. This fist can be made very quickly rather than balled up. Our theory is that by the time you make a fist you could hit. So we're going to imagine the techniques have uh, several components. The first component is that you imagine wherever your hand is is hot. So if I touch a hot stove my hand's going to jerk back very quickly. So you want to use that idea to drive the punch. So if my hand's on my chest, we envision that the chest is hot jerk away as if it was from a hot stove. As it's jerking away, it will make the fist. As the fist forms, the punch forms at the same time. So the first component is the heat visual visualization and the closing of the fist. The second component is dropping the weight. And if you will move the camera back to show my feet. As the hand approaches the target, my foot's going to drop. And what that does, that puts my 200 pounds of weight on the end of that punch. I'm not going to move and then hit. I'm going to start to hit and add a step on the end of it. So I'm really catching my weight as I strike. And the third component is we call the catapult hand, where the other alternate hand comes up. Now, classically, it was done in the middle of the chest. I don't think it's going to be tapping your heart over and over. So I moved it over onto the pectoral muscle. It still uh, serves our purpose, which is to get some momentum going and position the hand for the next strike. So the first three components is heat visualization, drop step, and the catapult hand to get a very quick and powerful strike. The opposite of that is if my hand is open, it's going to uh, if it's closed, it's going to open on contact like throwing the dice. So we have three techniques that we work on to demonstrate the principles of this. One is to call the hands up. And if someone starts to attack me, I'm going to take a slight angular step, get out of the way, close my fist, drop my step, and put my other hand up at the same time. That puts all my 200 pounds right there on contact. No stancing, no kicking, no blocking. The second one is the follow-up. So once I'm in this position, as soon as I strike that object or that person becomes hot and then jerk away from them, possibly into the next opponent. So we're working on reflexive technique and not thinking. So if I face on the one opponent and my hands are in please leave me alone type of position, as soon as he makes his first move or his blinks his eye or anything that can key me to, a, to change it from a will back into a reflex, that's what I'm going to do. If nothing else, I'm going to cause my own reflex. So as I do this, I'm going to step at an angle because this big guy, I want him not to be straight on me, but I want him to be uh, on an angle so if he hits me during that time, at least I'm not getting a full run. So I'm going to step, and as I step, I close my fist and bring my other hand out there. Here, okay? Now, if I have two people, let's say he's arguing with me, and he's standing there, jaw jacking and giving me a bad eye, waiting to take his turn on me, if he makes the move, at me first, he's going to punch me in the face here, I would drop myself over, hit him, and then him. So 
by simply stepping out of the way of his punch, I strike him and then strike him. So I'm going to go in rapid succession and hit both of them. One, two, three, four, whatever I have to do. So you're going to bounce from one person to the next. Open, close, open, close. One person from here to the second one goes right from there. So it's a one, two combination. You jerk. Birth of energy, my instructor Crow uh, described as mind explosion. <clears throat> it's just putting all your weight and all your energy at the point of contact. If I use a standard <clears throat> type of martial arts punch and I roll my hips, buck my hips and hit a certain amount of power so I'm hitting and relax, I can get the same power and maybe more with a small step in here using the Kuda punch. I get almost as much as if I can compare to it this way. So you're getting uh, almost the same energy in a very shorter, quicker period of time. All right, when I'm in a situation where there's a weapon involved, um, we already know what his natural reaction is. If he's attacked higher, it's going to come up. So if it comes up, it's going to cut me. <laughs> so I don't want to just hit him because he'll cut me. So my natural reaction to him sticking that into my throat is to go away from it because it's cutting into my throat. So I'm going to be doing this. So as I do that, my head comes back, I pull it out of me and stab him with it. There's an alternative to that. He's got your I'm good. Okay. So I hope they stick their knife in my face. If you have more interest in the art of CUDA, either to uh, supercharge your existing martial art or on its own, please uh, contact me at my email, which is drbill212, D-R-B-I-L-L-212 at AOL.com, 918-9671.